Hello and happy 2021. So we're going to do something different this year. One change is these are called now quick takes and they will only be max two to three minutes long. They're going to be really short. And the idea is something to make you think or just some um, pontification, how, whatever, but something that will be useful to you um, if you're an educator, regardless if you're an administrator or a faculty member. I want to spread the love around. It's not just for um, one group or the other. I want to uh, put something out there that's useful to both. This week, we're heading back to the classroom and the virtual classroom wherever. Some people started back last week. Some people it's next week. Regardless, you're getting back to the classroom. And one of the things that we struggled with what is in the fall was obviously being remote. But what is the thing that actually, like, what's the issue? And it's not just the technology. And I think that's what we need to look past. It's not just about technology. What it is, is that we crave a human connection with each other. And students crave that with their schools as well, their administrators, their teachers, whoever, they crave connection. If you watch any of the commercials that are saying, you know, teachers are awesome with the remote teaching, how hard they're working, they're showing them, first off they are, but they're also showing them in the ways that they are working to connect with students. That it's not enough just to have students you know, reading something or watching a video, that's great. And that's the first step. That's the information dissemination part of it. But the next step is making sense of it. And that's where students want that human interaction and connection with you, with each other, someone. They want to interact so that they can do things to make sense of what it is they're learning. So what I want you to be thinking about as you go into this semester, is there anything that you can do that would increase that? And it doesn't have to be on some massive scale. If you're a college faculty and you're thinking, Kathy, look, my class schedule and way that its delivery is already set up, there's nothing I can do about it. But you could always offer an optional once a week live session where maybe it's 30 minutes, maybe it's 45 minutes or an hour or whatever. But you can offer that, not require it, but have a way that students can connect with you. If you already have a synchronous element of your class, you know, look at it and say, am I just lecturing? Is there any way that I can have students talking to each other more? Um, can I get them more engaging, interacting with me, not just me, you know, interacting with the material? But Think about those things as you're going into the semester. It doesn't have to be something massive. One of the biggest things that I have learned in a lot of different places in my life lately is that it's the little things that really do matter. And it's not always something huge. It can be something small done repeatedly that can make such a big difference. Hope you enjoyed this quick take. I'll see you next week.